Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we'll do a couple of examples to illustrate the sampling distribution of the sample mean and the central limit theorem. Let's take a look at example 7. A gas supplier maintains a team of engineers who are available to deal with leaks reported by customers. Most reported leaks can be dealt with quickly, but some require a long time. The time taken to deal with reported leaks is found to have a mean of 65 minutes and a standard deviation of 60 minutes. If the times may be modeled by a normal distribution, estimate the probability that a. It will take more than 185 minutes to deal with the reported leak. b. It will take between 50 minutes and 125 minutes to deal with a reported leak. And c. The average time to deal with a random sample of 90 reported leaks is less than 70 minutes. Now, before we go on, do take note that the first two questions, A and B, are probability questions, okay? It's just a regular, normal distribution probability question. However, for part C, this is basically what we just learned, okay? So this is basically the sampling distribution of sample mean because they asked us to find the probability that the average, okay, of something happening. All right, so let's go back and try and do part A. Now, before we try to solve, why don't we define first the random variable? What is x? Okay, guys, from this question, what is x? x is basically this one. X is the time taken, okay, time taken to deal with reported leaks, okay, so this is basically X, right, so I'm going to put it here, this is X, right, so they gave you the mean or mu is 65 minutes, standard deviation is 60 minutes, okay, right, so let's take a look at part A, first things first, you need to write down the expression, find the probability that it will take more than 185 minutes. So this is what we write. Next step is to standardize 185 because 185 is x. We need to convert all x values into z. So how do you standardize 185? 185 minus 65 over 60. Okay, and we will get 2. All right, now look at your normal distribution table. Look at the z value 2. You will get the probability for 2, which is 0 0.4772 okay so at the same time at this point you can start to sketch okay so basically here i'm going to sketch it or color it red so you can see right okay so this is the value for two okay this red area 0 0.4772 but we don't want that area we want this area okay because we want to know the probability that it will take more than 185 minutes so how to get this area that we circle? Very simple. We just take half, we minus 0 0.4772 from it. Okay? Therefore, your answer is 0 0.0228. Now, let's look at question or part B. What's the probability that it will take between 50 minutes and 125 minutes? Okay, first things first, let's write down the expression. Okay, so this is what it means. Okay, we'll take between 50 and 125 minutes. Next step is to standardize both 50 and 125. Okay, so we standardize them. How to standardize? We apply the standardizing formula. Okay, so we take each values of x and then we minus the mu and divide by the standard deviation, which will give us here. So Z is between minus 0 0.25 and 1. Now don't forget, the minute we standardize, all X values become Z. Okay? Alright. Now moving on, once we reach this point, take a look at your normal distribution table. Look at Z equals to 1 and look at Z equals to 0 0.25. You can ignore the negative sign because the negative sign here just reflects whether you are sketching to the left or to the right uh, of your diagram. Okay, so now uh, once you look at the table, you can start sketching. So this is basically the sketch that you have. Okay, 
So here is the mean, 65. Once you standardize the mean, you get 0, right? So we know that. This is 25. Once we standardize 25, we get 1. Here's 50. When we standardize 50, we get negative or minus 0 0.25. Okay. Right. So now, these are the corresponding probabilities that relate to the z-values that we find. So for 1 here, the corresponding probability is 0 0.3413. Okay, this is for 1. For minus 0 0.25, the corresponding probability is 0 0.0987. Okay, so now the question says, what is the probability that it will take between Okay, meaning we want this entire shaded area. Okay, so how to get that is very simple. All you have to do is just plus. Okay, add both the probabilities and you'll get the answer, which is 0.44. Moving on to part C. Estimate the probability that the average time to deal with a random sample of 90 reported leaks is less than 70 minutes. Now, do take note that this time we are finding the probability for the average. So what we need to do is we need to adjust the standardizing formula. Recall the previous video. Okay. All right. So what we need to do is we need to write down um, the expression first. Okay. So here's the probability that the average time is less than 70 minutes. What we need to do now is we need to standardize 70. So how do we standardize 70? Okay, 70 minus 65. Okay, remember, this is mu, but this is also mean of the sampling distribution of sample mean, right? Okay, recall back the central limit theorem okay, in the previous lecture, as well as the lecture before that, okay? So we know that here we can write it as mu, or it's actually mu of the sampling distribution of sample mean. Now, down here, we need to divide it not with a standard deviation, but with a standard error. Now, standard error is the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Okay, so how do we get the sample size? That is why in the question they mention it, sample 90. Okay, now once we have this, we just solve it. So we get z is less than 0 0.79. Now you go and look at your normal table and find the corresponding probability for 0 0.79. At the same time, we can start sketching here because we want to know what is the probability that x bar is less than 70. See? So this is our average just now, 65. This is 70. Okay, so we want to know this area. Okay? So we know that the probability for 0 0.79 is 0 0.2852. But we don't just want this red area. We want this red area plus this green area. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add 0 0.2852 plus half. Why half? Because this area is half. Okay, so your answer would be 0 0.7852. Okay, now let's take a look at example 8. The average amount of time that people spend going through airport security for flights at a busy airport is 21 minutes with a standard deviation of 4.2 minutes. A. What is the probability that the average wait for 40 people is more than 22 minutes? Okay, first things first, you need to define what your random variable is, which is x bar. Okay, so your random variable is the average amount of time people spend going through airport security. Okay, so that's basically your uh, random variable. Now, for the part A, what is the probability that the average wait for 40 people is more than 22 minutes? So we need to write down the expression first, which is the probability that the mean or the x bar is more than 22 minutes. Then we need to standardize 22. Okay, so how do we do that? It's 22 minus the mean, which is 21, over standard error. Okay, so down here we... Divide with standard error, yeah? not standard deviation. Standard error is standard deviation over the square root of uh, the sample size. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to erase that again. Now, uh, once you standardize 22, you will get 1.51. Okay, so what that means is, um, up to this point, you need to sketch so that we'll be able to determine 
um, you know whether to add or minus half or add half okay so this is our distribution mean is 21 right okay we want more than 22 which is okay this is 20 oh sorry this is 22 so let's write down 22 we want more than 22 which is this area yeah okay but if you look at the table 1.51 you will get this blue area from here remember when you look at the table it's always from the mean okay so it's always it's from this 21 up until 22 okay so it's this blue area okay perhaps i should write down 21 when you standardize it's zero 22 when you standardize it's 1.51 okay so anyway the probability for 1.51 is this blue area we don't want the blue area guys we want the red area so how do we get that we just basically take half and then we minus the probability of 1.51 which is 0 0.4345 so you'll get the answer 0 0.0655 okay so 0 0.0655 is here okay let me label this is uh, 0 0.0655 okay part b the probability that 30 randomly chosen people have an average wait time longer than a certain average is 0 0.27. Uh, what is the value of the average wait time? So in this question, you are not asked to find probability. In fact, the probability is given to you. Okay, so the probability given to you is 0 0.27. So you're asked to find what is the value of the average wait time. In other words, you're asked to find the value of the random variable. So if you, if you don't remember how to do this, you have to look at the previous video, which is under um, normal approximation to the binomial. So I taught you how to find the value of random variable. Okay, so first things first, you need to write down the expression. So here they gave you, okay, the probability that the mean is more than a certain value, okay, is 0 0.27. So we can just label that certain value as A or whatever alphabet you want to use. Okay, so what is A is basically the value that we want. So we can minus a with the mean over standard error just like before okay and all of that is 0 0.27 okay so now here at this point you can start to sketch actually okay because i think it'll be easier to determine okay the answer if you sketch okay so the mean is uh, 21 right yeah the mean is 21 okay so now this is the tricky part you want to sketch basically this area 0 0.27 so how do we sketch this area 0 0.27 you know 0 0.27 is a small area right it's smaller than half so it cannot be more than half it must be less than half so it's either this one this area here or it's this area here so now this is where we need to apply logic and look at the question it says here okay um longer than longer than that's your keyword longer than so so logically if it's longer than it would be this area guys to the right okay it would be this area okay i leave you to think about that so i'm going to erase this part here okay so we want this area okay now um we know this is the x that we want to find okay now when you standardize all of these x values you'll get okay here 21 when you standardize it's zero x here when you standardize it you'll get z now we can actually get z from this information because we already know the probability the probability the probability here this red area is oops why is it blue okay the probability of this red area is 0 0.27 okay but we can actually determine from the normal table this blue area okay how do you get this blue area you just take half half minus 0 0.27 Okay, which is 0 0.23, right? Right, okay, 0 0.23. Oops. Okay. Yeah, so it's just half minus 0 0.27, you get 0 0.23. Now look at your random, uh, sorry, look at your normal table. Look for the Z value for 0 0.23. You will get 0 0.61. Okay, so 0 0.61 is actually the probability. Uh, sorry, the 0 0.61 is actually the Z value for 0 0.23. Okay, right. Okay, perhaps I wasn't that clear. Yeah, I should have drawn 
this before. So once you have this, you can start solving. Just apply algebra and you'll be able to solve what is A. A, or in this case X, oh yeah, I should have re written it as A. A bit blur here. Okay, A, yeah. So A value is actually 21.47, okay?